Hey everyone, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler, today on what sold on eBay. We're going to go over some items that were sold in the shop. Hopefully today you'll learn a little bit of something that you might not have even thought about before. And definitely click the like button if you enjoy these videos. That really tells the YouTube algorithm that you like these videos. And the more likes I get, the more people get to see my videos and the more videos I make. So with that being said, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, also, uh, this is during the live show, so we're going to hold the questions to the end. Uh, if there's something that uh, you want to ask, just leave a question in the comments, and we'll try to get it to the end of the show. I really appreciate everyone's support, and click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, today we have this 2016 Tarbell Course in Magic. This was actually highlighted in my vlog that I posted a couple days ago. I'll post a link to that vlog up there uh, for those that are watching on the back end. I really appreciate your support with those vlogs. Uh, check that out. But uh, yes, yeah, so Tarbell Course in Magic. Now these have been produced since the 40s or the 50s. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, this Tarbell series has been uh, produced for for many years, and there's there's many volumes, and I'm not sure. Uh, this just shows you right here uh, that this is the 16th printing in 2016. So the original one is actually from 1927, as we can see here. And there's been different iterations over the years uh, with different printings. Uh, now, for those that don't know, books, you know, a first edition is something that is when the book very like first comes out. It's a first edition. And then if the book becomes popular, they usually do uh, subs uh, more printings over uh, the years, a perfect example would be Harry Potter. There's like, I don't even, I don't even want to know. Like, I think there's like 40 or 50 or 60 or something printings of one book. And I made a video about how you can tell if your Harry Potter book is a first edition. Some of them go for hundreds of dollars. I'll leave a link to that up here on the back end, if I can remember. But anyways, back to this Tarbell. Uh, some of these actually go for a pretty good amount of money on Amazon. Uh, so if you find these individually. Some of them can go for 40 to $60 in uh, like new to new condition. So uh, Tarbell is something to look out for. And this is what it kind of looks like on the cover. Um, the older ones kind of, uh, I think they have dust sleeves also. And usually you can't find uh, those with the sleeves. They have that kind of uh, canvasy cover. You'll have to read the side. Uh, to be honest, I've been doing reselling for over 30 years. And I've never seen these before in the wild. And and I quite frequent, you know, garage sales and, and, and thrift stores and things like that. I've never seen this Tarbell Magic Course book. Um, now, I think there's only eight volumes. I could be wrong. There could be more. But to my knowledge, I think there's only one through eight. And like I said, if you go on Amazon, there's a ton of them uh, that are going for pretty good money. So definitely watch that. We want to give a huge shout out to people in the chat. That Sassy, Tracy Thrifts. And Cindy Roach, good morning to you. Uh, definitely check out Tracy Th Thrift. She's doing great uh, live shows every day. I've been noticing she's been uh, doing lots of great live shows, so definitely go and check her out. We got Flip and Hustler in the house and Anthony Bradley. Uh, welcome, everyone. So let's get into the next item. So definitely a bolo. Look out for these Tarbell Magic courses. We did take a best offer for $100 plus uh, $5 shipping. Now, we, we usually do media mail for all of our books. Now, for media mail, go and do your research. You can't ship magazines, anything that has advertising in media mail. So uh, do your research. You can't ship video games. You could ship DVDs, VHSs. So um, learn about media mail. It'll save you a ton of money. It'll save your customers a ton of money. And it's just <clears throat> it's just another uh, tool in your shipping toolbox to use. Uh, we have usually two different uh, varieties of our shipping for media mail. We have $5 and $10. $5 is usually something under like four pounds. And if it's super heavy, like a coffee book, that's a two volume coffee book, we'll do a $10 uh, media mail. And I think, I, I'm, don't quote me on this, but I think media mail has a limit. I want to say it's like 14 pounds. It could be even higher than that. And it's probably is. And I should know that. But just to be uh, sure, go research media mail. Uh, the US Postal Service has a great write up on it. You can research tons of uh, YouTube videos. Uh, that's what's so great about YouTube is you can learn a lot and watch different videos. Don't just watch one video and take someone's word for it. Do your own research. That's what we're all here for, uh, for sure. Uh, next up, we have these sterling silver round napkin uh, holders. And now we get some of these in from time to time. Some of you might have seen these. This is mostly like an estate sale thing. Uh, we used our 
uh, tester on this to, to, to prove that it was actually 925. Now, something might be stamped 925 and it might not be. There's tons of videos on how to determine that with a magnet. Uh, we use an acid scratch test uh, as like the last kind of thing. And so uh, looking up this brand, which is uh, basically, I couldn't even actually figure out what brand this was, to be honest. Uh, it had this like sun, let me show you here. It had this kind of like moon and sun logo. And so if you know what actually uh, Hallmark is that, or Maker's Mark this is, please leave a comment in the comments below. I'd be definitely interested. Now, for the most part, uh, usually people these days are buying these for the silver content. It's a precious metal. Uh, people like to hedge against inflation with precious metals, gold, silver. So I'm pretty sure, I want to say I'm pretty sure that this is bought just for the silver content and not just because someone wanted a nice napkin uh, holder. Uh, this was at 86 grams. I highly suggest everyone get a gram scale like this. Um, and so basically it's good to show a photo of what the weight is for anything that you sell that's precious metal. Uh, I've learned that this is actually a great thing to put in your description uh, because there's a lot of scrap people that buy this stuff and melt it down. So uh, also even if you have extra characters in your title, definitely put in scrap. And I don't even know if I put scrap in this one. Do, 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 do. No, I didn't. So that just shows you. But this, anyways, we took a. I think we took a best offer for this. This actually sold for. I want to say this actually did sell for thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, but anyways, we took a best offer just below forty. I think the. It, I think the silver content alone, if you were just to cash it out, would be around forty dollars. So we took a little less. Uh, usually that's what silver people. Uh, who are scrappers will do they'll, they'll, they'll undercut you a little bit, but not by much. You'll know that it's a professional scrapper when they give you a reasonable best offer for uh let's say it's worth a hundred dollars and they say you know eighty five dollars you know that you know they're they're trying to work with you and they work on volume but anyways i can go i can go on a whole other rant about uh precious metals and, and things like that but definitely like i said get a gram scale if you don't have one a cool one like this that actually has an led uh lighted led uh get a acid tester get a nice uh earth magnet you can get all that stuff um, definitely below. Maybe I should actually put some links to this stuff below in future videos uh, so that you guys have uh, somewhere to go to for sure. Uh, next up, we have this large, uh, I don't even know how to say this, uh, Jean Poyet. If you know how to say uh, this, please leave a comment in the comments below. I have no idea. Uh, even this limo, geez, I know nothing about plates and glass. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's one of the areas that I'm extremely weak in. Uh, I've been reselling for extreme amount of years, and there's lots of things that I avoided, uh, like plates and glass and women's clothes and jewelry. And now with this new job that I have, uh, working for the American Cancer Society, helping them with their eBay business, I've learned so much in a short amount of time. And I, it's just like every day I go in and I'm so excited to learn about new things. Uh, I'm learning about uh, flatware. I'm learning about plates. Uh, but anyways, this sold for 125 plus 39 shipping. This shipped via UPS. Um, I'm probably going to do a video at some point about how to ship plates and glass and things like that because uh, it's one of those things where uh, probably your most damage is going to come from glassware uh, plates and things like that and you should definitely you know put foam in between all of them and, and, and kind of compress them a little bit and, th and then put like pe packing peanuts on the side because when a box is dropped straight down there's going to be the gravity is going to want to push the plates down to the bottom down to the center of the earth so you want to have cushion on all sides in case it does that. And you want to have compression so that there's no gap in between the glass. Because if you just stack glass on top of glass, there's some crazy things that has to do with the atoms where when they smash together, it's almost like when someone could sing and it vibrates and people can break glass just by, just by singing a high note. It's the same thing when it comes down to compression and vibration. And like I said, that's a whole other crazy uh, trip on that. So... Uh, anyways, uh, this sold was actually pretty cool. Um, this th luckily, <laughs> I would say luckily, I didn't have to ship this. Uh, but you know, we'll we'll do a video at some point about how to ship uh, glass and stuff like that. It was a great sale. Uh, next up, we have this Tiffany and Company 2009 uh, sterling silver cuff bracelet. This was actually really cool. This was also not uh, not one of my uh, listings. As you can see, we got 925. Now I swear this said taco on it. And it's Tiffany and Company. <laughs> it could be Taco if you're look if you're if you're out there. If you if you have some money, someone should start a uh, jewelry company called Taco. 
<laughs> I think it looks cool uh, with the and with the at symbol or the and symbol. So, uh, anyways, this is actually a really great sale. Um, like I said, I would have probably put this on the weight scale. Um, I like the photos on this one. It was really good. We took a best offer for 150 and uh, I was curious to see what the weight and everything on this was, but uh, we get in uh, Tiffany and Company stuff uh, quite a bit in the shops. Uh, Tiffany and Company is something that everyone should definitely do some research on. You're going to find this stuff mostly in estate sales, and we've talked about estate sale brands. Uh, Tiffany and Company is usually estate sale brands. Uh, I have found Tiffany and Company in Goodwills and stuff like that, but they're few and far between. And if they're there, uh, usually nowadays uh, they know what they're doing. And that's the whole thing is this thrifting reselling business has changed so much in just the last five years alone. Uh, you sometimes are able to find stuff like this. And I mean, don't get me wrong. You could find stuff like this from time to time, but it's not as prevalent as it was even 10 years ago, man. I wish... I wish, I wish, I wish I was doing videos on thrifting and uh, uh, and garage selling 10 years ago. I would go to garage sales and find Nintendo games everywhere, like everywhere. And now, it, and there was only be like one or two people just like cruising around, grabbing stuff. Now there's like literally dozens of people in some of the garage sales that I go to. As a matter of fact, I'll probably start that blog up in the spring once it gets a little uh, warmer. We might... Uh, uh, talk to Gary V about doing a Los Angeles uh, trash talk. We've been uh, talking about that before in the past, and uh, we'll see about that one. But anyways, this is a cool thing. Definitely look out for that. Uh, really awesome stuff. And uh, we got socially awkward seller says last name is pronounced Puya. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And welcome to the show. Uh, for those that are are not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. That helps me out. Click the like button. That really helps the algorithm out for people to see my show. And I really appreciate that. I feel like sometimes my channel gets lost in the shuffle. And so uh, your help with clicking like and leaving a comment really helps. Uh, next up, we we have this Rock Nukem Polychrome Bird Pitcher, American Arizona Southwest, Phoenix, Arizona. And it looks like I doubled up Arizona. So that was my bad. Uh, always try to fill out as much keywords as possible in your title. Relevant keywords, by the way. Arizona, I doubled up on this. So I should have probably saw that before. But anyways, we took a best offer for this. Uh, for I think we took a best offer for 250 on this. Uh, we sold the last one for about 300. Uh, we did the high low theory on this uh, when I deal with art and definitely check out some of my art videos. If I can remember, I'll put one of my art videos up here on the back end and uh, check that out. We're going to do a whole series. We might be doing another uh, series today about uh, shipping art. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I can get that done by this weekend. But anyways, back to this. Uh, it's a really cool painting, acrylic painting. Uh, anyways, the high-low theory, price high, you can always move down and take a best offer. If you price your art too low, you never know. You might get, you know, might sell it very fast and you could have got, you know, way more for it. High-low theory, definitely use it in stuff that you don't know about, especially uh, one-of-a-kind pieces of art like this. Uh, this is a really cool piece of art. Uh, being an artist myself, I can really appreciate art. And uh, one of the pro tips I can give you about art is quality is king. So if you can spot quality, um, that will give you a leg up on the other resellers for sure if you can spot quality and what it is and things like that. But we'll get into more videos about that. This is a really great sale. And uh, um, what do you call it? Native American art is starting to become uh, popular again. It was super popular in the 70s with turquoise rings and things like that. Um, I'm definitely studying a lot on uh, Native American art. I have a lot of books that I've been collecting over the years. And uh, turquoise rings, you know, like... Um, cabochon turquoise uh jewelry squash blossoms look up squash blossom and go to the highest uh, uh shirts by completed auction squash blossom turquoise and, tr and trip out on that uh you're probably not going to find those but I've, I've found stuff like that at estate sales before so they're out there uh, next up, we have this 10K gold ring from Jostin's Men. Uh, this was Glendale, California. This was a, the, the town right next to us. Uh, we get in we get in class rings, I want to say all the time. I don't want to say all the time, actually, but we've I've, I've noticed since I've been here, I've listed about four or five class rings already. This was another one. This sold pretty much like 10 minutes after I listed it. Uh, we did, it was starting bid at $9.99 or $99.99. Uh, we did have a best offer for a hundred dollars for this ring now it was kind of damaged a little bit 
and I did mention that in the auction. And uh, as you can see here, this was a photo with my with my iPhone, and this was the photo with the Nikon camera. It's a little dark. I'm still working on best practices with photography. Uh, but anyways, uh, look out for this brand. This is a Bolo brand for Justin. Oh, I don't can't even zoom in on this thing. Oh man. Oh, okay. I see. I get it. Well, anyways, look out for this Justin brand. It, on rings uh some of them if you see the word duratone that means that it's like a amalgamation of metal <clears throat> excuse me and uh um just remember that some of these class rings are, are plated and you have to do the scratch test the magnet test and all these kind of tests to figure that out so i highly suggest investing in uh some jewelry detecting kind of things i know there's diamond testers uh there's all kinds of stuff that if you're serious about reselling and you do you, you have a pretty good amount of jewelry. I highly suggest investing in jewelry loop, magnet, acid test, all this kind of stuff for sure. Anyways, we took a best offer for a hundred on this. I just got it right. Cut, came in, went right back out the door uh, for this. And I'm pretty sure uh, a scrap uh, dealer bought this for sure. Uh, next up, we have this oral Hershizer bobblehead. We get bobbleheads in from time to time. Uh, don't sleep on bobbleheads. They are uh, one of the bolo items I'm always looking out for. Uh, especially, you know, a lot of thrift shops will price these for $5 and under. I know I've picked up some $60 ones from Goodwill before for $4 and $5. Uh, so they're out there. I was very surprised. And let me show you something else, too, to look out for. These ones were signed. Um, we had a huge collection of Dodger bobbleheads that came in and, and, and I started to like look through them and I started to open them all up just to inspect them because bobbleheads are made out of a plaster. Some of them are made out of resin and they break very easily. Well, they don't break very easily, but they do break. So you want to take these apart to make sure the bats and the gloves and things aren't broken off. Uh, but anyways, our oral Hershizer, this was signed. And now you might say, well, is this authentic? There's ways to, to authenticating autographs yourself. You don't have to go to a professional. Um, I'll probably do a video on that at some point, but uh, these all the, all these signatures checked out. There were some of them that were like this, so I think that uh, some of these were actually uh, given away at certain events. But anyways, my main point is definitely look at uh, different bobbleheads and things like that for sure. Uh, next up, we have this Kippy's purse. Uh, this was something that we got in a few days ago, and I've been listing a different, a bunch of different little things. Uh, like I said, I'm not very too up on women's fashion, clothes, purses, and things like that, but I'm still learning. Anyways, we took a best offer for 20-something on this. This is very easily shipped. We just bubble wrapped this and put it in a bubble mailer. Uh, this shipped very easily, and uh, we did take as many photos as possible. We did mention that you know some of the, uh, I think if I have a part of this, uh, this kind of material was coming apart, as you can see here, slight, slight wear. Always in the condition part, try to put as much information as you possibly can uh, in those things for sure. Uh, next up, we have this new skin spa system. This was something that came in, and uh, I we get in a lot of weird kind of electronic thingy devices. And uh, this one happened to actually sell a new one of these. If I would have, if this was brand new sealed, it would have went for about $150. Uh, anyways, we took a best offer for 52 something and of course in the condition I said item is untested and looks to have been used needs a good cleaning always try to put Stuff in your auction, you know, like we didn't we can't test this. I don't know how to test this thing. It's a face cream thing I don't know. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's a spa system thing new skin um, There was these little packet things that came with this that actually go for like 30 or 40 dollars each we sold those separately and so uh, always just look stuff up if you find it. Like always look everything up. Uh, there's been times where I've been into a thrift shop and I looked up uh, CD sets that were sealed and and one of them went for $200 and it was just sitting there like on the shelf, like just sitting there for five bucks. And I was like, holy crap. But if I didn't scan it and I didn't look at it, I would have I left it. It was It would be one of those things where if I didn't have a scanner, I would have just left it. Anyways, check out this kind of stuff. It's uh, out there for sure. Uh, next up, we have these tie in uh, class bar, clips bar, cuff li <laughs> cufflinks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we get in a ton of jewelry and uh, some of the stuff isn't really valuable, but we do lots. So check out the link below. 
uh, if you want to check out some of our lots we're going to be doing jewelry jars and things like that eventually uh, as a matter of fact i might have an auction this weekend it's a charity auction of course all uh, money goes to american cancer society who's fighting cancer cancer research they also house uh people uh, diagnosed with cancer and going through cancer treatments a very amazing company i'm very proud to be a part of this company uh, but anyways there's going to be a charity auction we'll probably do this weekend i'm not sure i have a literal i have literally a 12 gallon bin that's almost full of jewelry so um I, I'm not joking, so definitely check that out. But anyways, check out our auctions. This one actually, I took a best offer for ten bucks. Someone said, "Hey, uh, I'll give you ten bucks for this lot, for this lot." I took it. You know, I'm pretty sure someone will come in and clean these. Uh, I'm sure some of these probably would go for uh, ten dollars each, possibly. So look out for our jewelry auctions uh, down below, uh, for sure. Uh, next up, we have this Lego. <clears throat> creator rain first animals now we got this in and i'm going to tell you the truth when i first saw it i thought oh this is one of those like ten dollar sets uh no unfortunately this was uh, not sealed uh this thing sealed goes for about 50 to 70 dollars i swear i kid you not uh this was something that probably cost 12.95 when it came out uh, but anyways it was complete it was sealed as far as like uh the packaging and things like that uh, we took a best offer for this. I'm not completely sure. I don't completely remember. I want to say it was in the high 20s or the early 30s uh, for this. But it was something that would have just uh, uh, been sold for like $4. I happened to find it, grab it. Lego is a huge thing to do, to look at. Like I said, scan, look up, do your research. I was very surprised to see that this was uh, a retired set, I guess they call it. And this was still going for good money. Even if people had these that were opened and put together with the instructions, still went for a good amount of money. So uh, always look out for Lego. Do not call it Legos with an S because you will get the heat from the community. Uh, I learned that the hard way. I did some Lego videos and I'll leave it a link up right there if I can remember uh, for those. And I said Legos and I think even the title I put Legos and I in the comments, I got hell. Uh, so definitely don't <laughs> don't do that hey what happened to the chat you guys were all chatting before maybe someone went live right now that's probably what happens uh okay so next up we have this uh mario kart uh racers uh donkey Kong, uh donkey Kong, <laughs> donkey Kong. uh look out for these connects uh mario kart things you'll find these at thrift stores and things like that we do get these in from time to time what i do is uh, I'll take out the, the, the racers and some of the important pieces and sell them individually. There's a huge market in replacement parts, especially Lego, uh, board games, and this Mario Kart thing. Uh, we actually put this on bid. I thought it would go for more, so but you know we had one bid at $9.99. We'll take it all day long. Uh, this is just something fun. It was in really good condition. These were tested. These take AA batteries. You just have to unscrew them, turn it on and off. Uh, they're not remote control. They're not slot cars. Uh, you actually turn them on and then set them on the track and then they go. So, you know, there's that. Uh, some of these sealed ones. Let me see if I have a close-up photo of the Kinex logo. So you can, oh, I guess, I guess as best as you're going to get. Uh, look out for Kinex Mario Nintendo uh, Racer sets, Mario Kart sets. Some of the sealed ones go for a pretty good amount of money. There's a few of them that go for over $100. Uh, this set that this came from, if this was sealed goes for between 150 to 200 dollars on amazon and that's another thing too look for both uh things don't just look on ebay look on amazon because you'll be surprised some things go for a crazy amount of money on amazon and sell and they really don't go for that much on ebay and, and there's also a retail arbitrage there uh if you are have the time and smart enough to be able to, to pull things from ebay to sell on amazon that's a whole other video in itself uh, next up we have this jada 1951 mercury dub city customs this is a 124 scale this is a very cool car and uh if i was in my back in my day i probably would have bought this and customized it myself but those days are uh i don't want to say long over because eventually i'll do some more art and things like that because i do airbrushing and for those that know me personally they know that <clears throat> i've done a lot of I've done a lot of that kind of stuff but anyways this is really cool look out for jada dub city cars some of the ones in there in packaging when they first came out uh, I want to say Jada came out in like 2001, 2000, something around there. And uh, they had these really crazy big wheels. And I think the, what was it? The Chevy Avalanche was the first car that we saw. Well, anyways, it was during the whole Jesse James and the California Customs and 
all those crazy shows that came out on the History Channel back in 2000. Uh, Jada came out. But anyways, what I, I digress. Uh, look out for these, Jada. I wish this was in the box so you can see the logo and what the box look like. Some of the older ones that are in packaging go for over $50, so definitely look out for those. <clears throat> Uh, next up, we have this uh, child. <laughs> Yvette Ederson says, I'm just lurking. Who is talking in the great info? Okay, gotcha. Take it in the great info. I appreciate that. Uh, it's crazy because I see some of the chats on some of these live shows that just go crazy. And it's like, no one ever talks in my chat. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, the Chive t-shirts, uh, Slimer Ghostbusters. Uh, we get in t-shirt stuff all the time. Um, I've been trying to pull some of the, the vintage t-shirts that we get in. Uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, but anyways, we, uh, I had the, I had these shirts. I probably could have sold these individually, but we're going to do the, one of the things where, uh, there's deals on our site. Definitely go down there, look at our eBay store. If you see something you like, send us an offer, a reasonable offer, and we'll, uh, take a look at that. We have auctions. You can find stuff, uh, relatively good deal. Uh, someone got a great deal on this. I think it was nine ninety nine plus nine 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 shipping, uh, for these, this Ghostbuster shirt. I think probably could sell for about $20 uh, by itself. And these are kind of like limited edition Chive shirts. I, I know Chive is like a weird blog or something like for hipsters or something. I don't really know. Dude. I think I'm getting too old for this stuff. Uh, anyways, the Slimer shirt was pretty cool. Everything was 2X. So, you know, larger sizes usually do, do better than mediums and smalls in my experience. So definitely check that out. Uh, next up, we have this magic trick lot. We had this huge box of magic stuff that came in, and I could have probably uh, spent days on just selling this stuff individually, but we were just like, you know, we have it came in. Someone got a great deal on this, $9.99, plus uh, we shipped this in a large um, priority box, and so uh, there's that for sure. So like I said, we have some great deals on our site. Definitely go down there and check out our eBay store. Uh, someone got a great deal on this, some magic stuff. Most of this stuff was sealed. The great beginners thing we had another uh, magic thing also uh, that we're gonna I think we're gonna put back up it had a lot of books in it and things like that so this is where actually those tarbell set came from it was a huge box it was like a I want to say it was like a 24 by 24 box just full of magic stuff it was actually pretty crazy uh, next up we have this Kindle fire we get electronics that come in uh, from time to time we took a best off for 25 on this we have two more left so if you want one of these uh, definitely leave a comment below. I think you can set these up with Wi-Fi. You can watch YouTube videos. It's great for kids, uh, for stuff like this, especially for older people that need something that's like larger than a phone. Uh, leave a go check us check this link out. I think uh, our link is going to be below. We still have two of these left. I took a best offer for twenty five. So if you want one of these for twenty five plus thirteen ninety nine shipping, please leave us a comment or leave us a comment. Uh, check out our shop for sure. <laughs> Yvette Anderson, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's the show, guys. I really appreciate it. Click the like button. If you have any comments, please leave a comment below. Uh, click the like button. I really appreciate your guys' support. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely check it out and everything like that. We got foods by Lids. You just missed the show, Lids. Uh, for those that don't, for those that enter food, definitely check out food by Lids. Uh, Lydia is awesome. And, uh, Definitely go and check that out. Once again, I'm Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. I really appreciate you tuning in, watching the show, and uh, definitely check out our links below, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, and have a great weekend. Take care.